Hey, good morning, Capper here, and I'm here to tell you about an amazing device that I just discovered and I purchased for myself. I can't believe it's available to us, just regular civilians right now, but look at this. This is the Seek Thermal Imaging Camera for your phone. That's right. It'll fit right on your phone. So here is a device, you can see it's very small, and they make them for Android or Apple. It has this waterproof carrying case, which is very convenient because this thing is very small and can get lost. Now having used thermal imaging over the years, uh, military and law enforcement, I know how valuable a tool it could be. So the home uses are almost limitless. So let me show you this camera. Some shots that I've taken of deer, of my cat, of a potential prowler around your house, and see what you think. Okay, so here's an example of how a human being is registered by the thermal imaging. Um, this is me, and no, I don't have gloves and a face mask on. I'm actually just in, you know, sweats and a sweatshirt, and it's pitch black outside. It's absolutely dark where you can't even see anything, and I set the camera up on a tripod. This is just one of the different modes on there. There's like 10 different modes you can use. Um, the camera doesn't see shapes and things like that. The camera just sees temperature variations. Oh, and there's my cat. I was looking for her, and I heard her bell jingle over here, so I pointed the camera that way, and sure enough, there she is. She's walking away from me right now, so I'm just switching the views for you to get an idea on what the heat signature looks like. I'm going to say she's 40 yards away right now, give or take, but you can clearly see there is something warm moving. I know there's some deer out here. Well, there was a minute ago. Oh yeah, there they are. They're up in the front lawn. Let's try a few different views here. Alright, not too bad. Uh, probably they are 60 yards, give or take. So here's a look at the high line, what it looks like. Um, that thing down there is a concrete slab. And, you know, this is all CRP here, but there's nothing in it uh, for heat signatures. So let me switch back to a normal view, and I'll show you what this so looks there's like. There's the same view during daylight. Go back once more. There's the heat look. I think for my color vision, I like this amber the best. Right here. Okay, another thing, people may not realize just how sensitive a thermal imaging camera is to heat. Okay, so you're looking at my foot right there. It's suspended up in the air. I'm sitting on the chair. Okay, so I'm just going to push my foot down on the floor here for just a few seconds it's a carpeting floor to demonstrate to you um, how sensitive thermal imaging is to heat 
Okay, well that one you can't see very well because it's out of focus. Okay, so there is my hand. You could see that as you get closer to your blood circulation, you get a lot warmer. But I'm going to set it on the desk. Right now it's sitting on the desk. And I'm pushing down a little bit firm just to give you the example here. It's just a uh, generic smooth surface desktop. All right. Here's just a little different view and angle. So I basically push down on the desktop and then watch when I remove my hand. You could see the handprint very clearly there. Um, but you could see that just something, the heat exchange from your hand will stay for a short period of time. Law enforcement uses these things occasionally for, let's say, shallow graves. You know, when someone is murdered and buried. Now that's my juice cup. Interesting, because that is cold. There we go. So there's a temperature right there in the center crosshairs. Wow. That is cool. And back down to the desk. See if I can find where I'm sitting here. There's my foot, 86, wow, let's check out the lamp here, there's the lamp, 90 degrees, so you can just imagine, you know, for lost pets, lost kids, tracking deer, I know this would have saved me some venison this year. If I could have walked in the woods and just, you know, shown this in a little ways, I'd have seen my deer carcass laying there not moving when I couldn't find any blood. So, for anyone interested, I bought this on Amazon. It was like $240. And it has endless applications. It's really up to you and your imagination, really. So send me some feedback if you want. There's my other lamp by the bed. And if you do decide to get one, good luck. is that that's down next to the house Boy, must be something underground warm. Oh, that's the satellite dish. Duh. Never mind. <laughs>